Well, hello and welcome back to another episode of Rosetta Reviews. And boy, do I have a video for you today. A couple of years ago, I found this really rare VHS tape about a man by the name of Larry Jones and the love affair that he had with a few animals, including one Elvis the Elk. No, no, don't click away just yet. Seriously, I'm not joking. Check it out. Like uh, Steve Carell in The Daily Show actually covered this in the late 90s, as obscure as it is. And I think I did a better job. 1999 was the year The Daily Show on Comedy Central was still in its infant stage, just into its third season. It's first with host Jon Stewart. It was also the year Steve Carell, before The Office, before Gru, came to Crouch, Idaho, trying to track down an elusive icon that was rumored to have relocated to the tiny mountain town. Now he kind of pulled his punches and made this kind of ham-fisted Elvis sighting joke. If you believe some coroner in Memphis, Elvis died in 1977. By far, the most compelling evidence that Elvis is still among us may lie right here in Crouch, Idaho. You were one of the last to see him, and be honest, was he kind of losing it toward the end? Mm. Sorry to have to take you there. So thanks, Steve, for leaving all this fertile ground here for the rest of us to come in here and make fun of this on, because holy shit, this is worthy of making fun of. So without further ado, let's jump on into this and see what we've got. Now, will this qualify for one of my truly obscure videos or not? Is this professionally made, or is this not quite professionally made? Well, it was produced at Pro Media, so I guess that would not be professionally made <laughs> come on now but anyway let's go ahead and see what we've got here oh you got this fbi warning that makes it kind of look professional doesn't it all right well let's let's see what the uh, wifey has to say about things you are about to see a very unique video presentation it took place in the foothills and mountains surrounding the small central idaho valley it is about a relationship that has developed between a man his dogs and of all things a wild bull elk We'll get to the story in a minute. First, let me tell you a little bit about the man. He's my husband. His name is Larry W. Jones. He loves his animal friends, his dogs, his cat, his horse, and now, Lord help us, an elk. Well, you know, let's not let's not judge this too harshly, okay? Just because she said some stuff that sounds a little bit weird there at the beginning, I wouldn't judge that too harshly. I mean, like one time I bought this tape that was called A Woman Rides the Beast. And like I just didn't read the full subtitle. Had I read the full subtitle, I would have realized that it's not about a woman riding a beast at all. I was kind of disappointed, actually. I thought I had a good find there, and it turned out just some bullshit religious crap. But anyway, let's go ahead and, and, and let's see what else is going on here. Well, let's just not take the wife's word at it. Let's see what else uh, Larry has to say about him and his relationship with these animals. He don't like it real well, but but he tolerates it. But it's something else if you can go back into their habitat and find them and, and they still remember you and you have a relationship out there. I just can't explain the feeling. But if I come to you in sweet surrender Will you give to me my every heart's desire Will you care for me and never, ever leave me Shit. Nothing will ever put out our oh. love's fire. Oh. Oh. Okay. I don't know, I don't know. Do you really want me? So you look at this here and you can see that, well, Larry's, Larry's a special guy. He's got this relationship with all these different animals and stuff. And, uh, you know, they're God's creatures and, and he's one of God's creatures. And so, you know, the... Lion lays with the lamb. Well, you know, how that's just how that goes. No big deal. Don't be at all judgmental. Because he, check it out. He fed these elk, and then, like, one of them keeps coming back. And so he, he hangs out with this elk. And he writes songs about it. I mean, this guy is the original Tiger King. He's not gay. He's into animals, but he's not gay. And he doesn't walk around with a gun on his hip, but he's a hunter, and, and, and he definitely... I don't think he does meth. I think he does Jesus, but it's close. Now you got to check out some of these songs. Some of these are really impressive. Dog gone, dog's gone. The dog gone, dog's gone. He left in the night. He ran away. What can I do? What can I say? The dog gone, dog's gone. 
I'm torn between worlds The old and new I'm missing my kind But I'll be missing on his way When he lets go you will know he can sing It's the rockin' song of the Rocky Mountain King Hear him sing When he gets down you'll now you can probably gather why he would be worried about people making fun of him and would say to people like The Daily Show, hey, don't make fun of me, please. Thank you very much. When he found out they were satire, Larry tried to back out. I says, you can't come in here and make us look like a bunch of buffoons. But interestingly enough, this is still something somewhat talked about in the region. I mean, look at this news report. Look at the date on that. Shit, it's just, just a few weeks ago, it seems like. And, and, and what else do we got going on? It's like... Uh, he still cultivates the website? Huh. Wow. He, I'll uh, include the advertising contact info at the end here. Look at that. Yeah, there you go. So don't content ID me too hard there, Larry. If you happen to see this, I, I know that this is probably isn't your favorite flavor of humor. Uh, <laughs> but uh, come on, man. There's the... You can, you can go buy his stuff, guys. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Well, here's his glory. I just can't explain the feeling. It's just amazing to have this. I mean, this is a wild animal. You don't like it real well, but, but he tolerates it. So I just want that to be a lesson to all of you out there that put things out on the internet. Back in the day, we put them out on VHS. And the shit still comes back to haunt you. I mean, I, I've never hunted elk since. I thought maybe if... If I was ever going to stop hunting, God would have to break my back, but he broke my heart. <laughs>